and I'm gonna show you how to get all the collectibles in Little Nightmares. Now you don't need to get all the lights, but you need to get at least 80% of them. This is right at the beginning of the game, you cannot miss this light, it's right there. All you do is go next to it and it will automatically light. Now the statues you have to pick up using the right trigger, or I assume it's R2 for the PlayStation 4. And throw it, once you smash it, you'll get the collectible. So here's the first one, I already broke it. If you already broke the statue, it'll just show as a pile of junk on the floor. If you hug one of the gnomes, it won't appear anymore. And if you light the lanterns, it will already be lit when you go back to them. So if you see any of those weird anomalies, that's why. So this is your first gnome. You have to open that fridge in order to let it out and you'll get that light as well. All right, this is later on. This is story progression. You're gonna find this light right there. Impossible to miss, unless you want to. All right, this is when you see the janitor for the first time. You're going to come into this bathroom up on the top left corner, light right there. All right, this is when you encountered that eye mechanic for the first time. You're gonna come here and light this light. And you're gonna climb to the other side right here and jump down. Here's where you're gonna get your next gnome. He's supposed to be down here, but I already got him, so he's not gonna appear anymore. And there's the light as well. All right, we're gonna head back out. I'm gonna fast forward here. And you're gonna go to all the way to the left side. You're gonna see this children's bedroom with the eye drone on the wall. On the lower left, right hand corner is gonna be your statue. Just break that. Alright, this is story progression once again. You're gonna head into this room. This is one of the more vexing jumps of the entire game when you have to go through that swinging crate right there. You can see it on the top screen. But we're gonna get a light on the right side, right here. I already lit it, so it's already lit. Alright, this is when you get this power breaker. Once it's shut down, we get to go through the bars which are no uh, longer electrified. On the left side of the room, we're going to find a light right there, and we're also going to see a gnome trapped in the cage. We're going to open the cage, and we're going to head back to the previous room. The gnome is on the upper left corner of the screen. I don't like my lighter for some strange reason, I don't know why, but you can see him right there. You have to hold down the right trigger for the hug to count, and you'll see the little eyeball on the corner to show that it does count. Alright, this is later on in the first chapter still. You're going to come to the first floor, no, the second floor. Come up here to this room, light the light lantern up here, and you're going to drag the chair onto the black spot on the floor. Once you drag it, you're going to unlock the room on the right side, go behind the desk, and the gnome will scurry up to the second floor or the second floor balcony. All you have to do is go and hug him. You also can hit that button right there if you see it and it allows you to spy into the other rooms such as the children, the uh, lady, and even the chefs. It's a pretty cool easter egg. I, liked, I really enjoyed this game. It had a lot of cool easter eggs and the story is very dark. So I'm just gonna head over here and the gnome is right there just running along. If only he knew what was coming. Right here, grab the hug. Alright, this is in the janitor's room. We're gonna get the statue. You can either climb onto the toilet or you can use this bed as a jumping point. Once you jump up here, just climb across and it's supposed to be right there, but I really it, so it was appeared as a pile of junk. This is when you escape your cage after the janitor captures you. You're gonna grab the light onto this platform. Uh, this is after you escape the, uh, I guess you could call it a jail cell. You're gonna come up here and there's the light right by that guillotine. All right, this is later on when you escape the janitor. You're supposed to go on to the right, to the, all the way to the right side to that room full of shoes. But instead you're gonna grab that light, climb up here Go into this vent and follow that gnome inside. This is me gonna probably perform an epic fail. Yep, there it is. Me failing. Alright, you're gonna head back in here and grab that hug from the gnome. Alright, this is when we encounter the janitor again, after we escape from his clutches, you're gonna come to the second portion of the shroom. Right there is the statue. 
just smash that into a billion pieces. Alright, this is in the library after we escape the janitor once again. You're gonna come underneath this desk and scare the Norma out of his hiding place. And he's behind the first tower. Just hug him and there you go. Alright, here you're gonna grab the 13 light. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can actually distract the janitor in the other room and then come back here and collect both the light. There's one here and there's one right there where he's standing at the base of that bookshelf. But I'm going to do show you that you can do either way. So I'm just going to lure him away and light this candle right here. But for the second candle, since it's on the base, I'm just going to run across after I distracted him with the television. You're going to see it right here. There it is. Alright, this is at the beginning of Act 3. You're going to come beneath this, uh, I guess, plate. Once you go down here, you're going to find a type of shrine to the lady. I guess the chefs really love this woman. Must be Stockholm Syndrome. But anyway, you're going to smash that statue. Alright, there's the gnome that you're going to get uh, next after this light. But you're going to climb up here, grab this light. This is story progression, by the way. This is after the kitchen scene where you encounter one of the two chef brothers. So once you encounter him and grab that light, you're going to come into this room. Your primary goal is to grab that key. You're going to awaken the second chef brother. But before you head down the elevator, you're going to come into the bathroom. And here is where you're going to find the gnome hiding in the corner. Just give him a big hug. Alright, once you do that, you're going to get to the next gnome. You're going to head downstairs. And in here, the gnome to be hiding in the spice jar. Just break it open, hug him, and hide underneath the cabinet because the chef is going to hear it. Alright, this is when you get into the sausage making room. I believe that's what you would call it. I don't know, or you could call it the kid making room. If you play through the game, you know what that means, and it's very disturbing. But anyway, before you put those slabs of kid meat onto the grinder, you're going to come into this room. The boilers, I guess. Grab that light and this statue. And just smash it. Alright, this is where you encounter the second chef brother in his kick, uh, cooking area. You're going to climb onto the right side, this table. And go up to the uh, uh, top shelf and grab the light up here. Don't worry, he probably won't hear you. There we go, we grab that light. Alright, this is later on after we escape the chef and go into the garbage disposal. On the lower left hand corner of this room, you're going to find another statue. And you're just going to smash it. Alright, this is later on. This is the final scene of Act No, well, it's the second to last scene. So once you reverse the flow of the meat hooks on top of the washroom, you're going to come here. This is story progression, you're going to have to come to these hooks anyway. And on the left side, you can see that lamp. You're going to hop across, and you're going to grab it. If you don't want to grab this lamp, it's kind of tricky, you don't have to. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you only have to get 80% of the lights. But the gnomes and the statues, you have to break them all. Alright, this is at the end of Act 3. Don't try and start Act 4, you will start at the beginning of the dining hall. So, this is the end of Act 3. You're going to grab the gnome right here. And then you're going to grab the light right here. Alright, this is at the beginning of Act 4, right when you get to this main dining hall. This is the scene where you have to evade the hands of all those greedy patrons. Once you head in here, I already got the gnome and the lights, so the gnome is in here and the lights are already lit. So once I do that, this is story progression. This is after you encounter the chefs for the last time. You're going to come across this pipe, jump down to this, I guess, cabinet and just grab that statue. I already broke it so you can see the pile of junk. This is this one is missable, but I finally got it. Once you go up the elevator on the left side, you can see the little door, it's a creek opening. You're gonna get your next gnome. This is the second to last gnome. The final gnome is actually story progression, so you'll get that gnome no matter what. If you already played this game, which I assume you already did with the collectibles guide, it's the one that you eat. I already got the achievement as you can see here because I did this out of order. Alright, this is the final statue. 
no, second to final statue, I apologize. This is when you see the lady go into her quarters. You're gonna grab this statue right here. And there you go. Next up is the final statue, which is at the mirror that the lady was brushing her hair into. Once you grab the key and she leaves the room, just climb up here and break the statue. So that's it. Leave a like, comment, and good luck, everyone.